I find it disgusting that more people aren't aware of this lawsuit that's going on right now, so I'm going to do you all a favor and take you by the hand and show you the light. You know, I'm, I'm no hero, okay? But please pat me on the back for the bravery anyway. Right now, there is a $3 billion lawsuit going on that names some of the biggest celebrities in the world. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Michael Jordan, and even Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit, many of you probably raised an eyebrow to because he's been dead for well over 10 years now. And he has just been named in a $3 billion lawsuit for a conspiracy to kidnap a woman and her children. I'm sure all of you are familiar with the story of Chris Benoit. He was a damn near household name in the wrestling scene, and he ended up killing his family and killing himself. It's a horrific, tragic story, and he's been dead for a long time now. He, he has been decaying in the ground for a while. And the children here that are talked about in the lawsuit from everything I've read were not alive when Chris Benoit still inhabited this corporeal dimension. Which would mean that post-mortem, from beyond the grave, Chris Benoit's spirit would have had to been conspiring with this massive Illuminati network here to commit this kidnapping crime. Which is a bold claim. This is a lawsuit that comes from a former wrestler named Raka Khan, who alleges that there was this massive conspiracy to kidnap her and her children, and she is seeking $3 billion and named not only a ton of celebrities like individuals and pretty much every wrestler that has ever breathed over the last 100 years. I wouldn't be surprised to find Andre the Giant buried somewhere in the list of culprits, but she is also naming entire companies like Home Depot. I, I shit you not. Home Depot is listed as a part of this conspiracy to kidnap her and her children. It is outrageous. Now, of course, I don't want to rule out the possibility that Home Depot has a seat at the New World Order, and the first order of business was to kidnap her and her children, but with the amount of people and companies listed here, it seems unrealistic. Because, like I said, it wasn't just Home Depot either. Bank of America was listed. The FBI, the entire FBI. There's all these companies apparently had skin in the game and they're all listed now in this $3 billion lawsuit. Honestly, by the end of reading this list, I was half expecting to see my favorite breakfast restaurant listed here, which is just a mom and pop local restaurant. And I, I thought, you know what? Everyone's guilty out here. But uh, yeah, it's pretty outrageous. And I've done a bit of research now on Raka Khan. And she's unfortunately had a lot of bad things happen to her post-wrestling career, as well as even during her wrestling career. Uh, for example, she dated Kurt Angle for a while, and there was 2009 incident where, like, abuse was alleged, but then it was later kind of dropped. But it was very messy, very muddy and fishy, but overall, a lot has happened to her throughout her life. And in 2019, she even landed herself on the most wanted list for El Paso, uh, it's it's a really wild web, and the lawsuit is pretty uh, concerning, honestly. I went over it all on stream, so I'll just play those clips for you to give you a deeper insight into all of it. Yeah, I'll look up the Dwayne The Rock Johnson lawsuit here. Someone mentioned that earlier. I forgot to look it up. It was apparently named in a multi-billion dollar lawsuit from a former WWE wrestler. Holy shit, it's a kidnapping lawsuit. Oh, that's right, live action Moana. Maybe he's being sued because of how horrible that fucking idea is. They're kidnapping the audience's patience. The FBI is named in the lawsuit. Wow, that's uh, awfully ambitious. Her complaint, most of which is made up of those being sued, alleges that those named worked together in a conspiracy to kidnap her and her children. Some other names in the lawsuit are the State of Texas, the El Paso Child Protective Services, the Las Cruces, New Mexico Police Department, the NYPD, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, New York ACS, Omega, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity, Shirley Police Department, Sigma Phi Epsilon, Suffolk County, New York, the Bank of America, Home Depot, and even the... Ep Who are her children? What? Why, why, would, why would all of these people work together... To kidnap her children. Are they like Super Saiyans? Fuck, Jesus Christ. Home Depot of all things. How did they get tossed into the mega mix? What the... A kidnapping aisle? What happened? 
Apparently it's proceeded in court. That's what it said at the start. It's making waves in court, or um, making progress in court. Still has a bench warrant out for her after not appearing at a criminal trial in December 2022 in Texas where she was to face charges of interference with child custody and aggra aggravated kidnapping facil facilitate. Aggravated kidnapping facilitate. Why does that sound so grammatically incorrect? She paid the court fees, which allowed the case to move forward, but no one's been served yet. And she is currently on their wanted list. And back in 2019 was placed as the most wanted fugitive list for child custody charges by El Paso. So this, this sounds like very serious mental illness here. What the fuck? Oh my god, Michael Jordan's named in it too. How deep does the the web go? Or uh, how deep does the rabbit hole go? If I'm reading this right, The Rock, The Miz, Chris Benoit, Mick Foley, and others conspired to kidnap Raka Khan and her children. Chris, ben Chris Benoit has been dead for fucking two decades almost. It is it, so the ghost of Chris Benoit conspired to steal her and her children? When, when did she allege that this happened, this conspiracy? This is so wacky, holy fuck. <laughs> Home Depot trying to be the next Wayfair. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. This is the next storyline for the WWE. Oh man, fuck, if only the MWL could get in on this action, we'd use this lawsuit for one of our storylines in a heartbeat. This would be huge for us. But I mean, yeah, this is fucking serious delusion. Especially because she's paying a ton of money for this, clearly. She paid all of the fees in order to push this through the court system, apparently. All right, that, that's, a, that's a big chunk of change right down the shitter. Oh, wait, you're right. Wait, Billy Corgan is also named in here. Did she just start naming everyone in the wrestling industry from, like, all promos everywhere? Are, am I in here? Is, is the MWL named in this? Fucking Dow Jones enlisted on this, uh, uh, lawsuit? I can't find the lawsuit, but we got some super sleuths on Twitter that were immediately able to point out some, uh, <laughs> some very shady business of this lawsuit, which is shocking. I mean, everything here seems watertight and sane, but they noticed that her child, uh, that I assume she is referring to a potential kidnapping victim of this massive Illuminati conspiracy kidnapping case was four years old in 2019. So that would mean Chris Benoit had already been dead and buried and literally a fucking skeleton in a coffin at this point. So when she was placed on the most wanted fugitives list, her child was four and that was in 2019. So Chris Benoit, he must have, he must have been like haunting the family plotting this one you're forgetting about potential time traveling shenanigans you're i didn't even stop to consider time dilation you're, you're not wrong how much is she asking for in damages three billion dollars <laughs> yeah you must you must have missed the uh the most important part thanks to read some nigel you think they'll settle Brother, if a single person listed in this lawsuit even gives this a moment of thought, I would be shocked. No, they, they're not going to settle for anything. Though, if they want to, they can do it in the squared circle of the Moist Wrestling League. We'll have ourselves our first lawsuit match. We should start suing people like this as a form of networking. Not wrong, Aaron. This actually might be the play. How is Michael Jordan involved if it's all wrestlers? Because it's not all wrestlers. Brother, the FBI and Home Depot are listed here, and Bank of America. It's just she also listed every wrestler ever as well. Legal Eagle on YouTube says she has a legit lawsuit. I already know, I'm just being lied to. Legal Eagle did not just cover this lawsuit. There is a 0% chance. <laughs> but I'll look it up anyway. I don't know why I'm doing this. Shocking. N nothing from Legal Eagle here. What the fuck did I just read here? Home Depot was an amazing street fight wrestler. His Fampus Top Rope 2x4 Smash. What the fuck? 
I feel like I know what you were going for, but everything went wrong in the sentence and made it much better. I don't know what a fampus is, but fuck yeah. Won't this mess up the Rock's work with Disney? No, man. <laughs> I don't think it will. I mean, hey, I'd actually love to be wrong about that. A live action Moana is criminal. The movie's not even 10 years old. So if it does impede on that, then this lawsuit was worth it. But there's a 0% chance. 